Welcome back to the Black Sheep channel. Black Sheep here. We do gun review videos here, product review videos, we do some prepping and survival stuff, and some YouTube video tips. Today I have a gun review video for you. A very popular rifle. talked about the 1022 recently that's a pretty darn popular rifle in America but this one for uh, a bigger caliber a 3030 all I have to say probably is the caliber 3030 and lever action and you guys know I'm talking about a Marlin 336 uh, I've got a couple of these today uh, supplied to the channel by friends of the channel again thank you at the Izzy Institute and uh, thank you Harvey for watching this is a Marlin 336 SC uh, I am not sure about the actual manufacturer date of this particular firearm. I would have to look it up by serial number, and I'm not sure how to do that at this point, but the Marlin 336 has been made since 1948, continuously, straight up through currently. There's different designations at the end of the 336. There's a C, there's an S, there's an SS, there's an SC like this one, there's a W, I believe. Uh, and it's been made in different calibers over the years, but 3030 uh, by far has been the dominant caliber that this has been made in. And it's, again, been made for one reason and one reason only, mainly, and that is to take deer. This has been America's deer rifle uh, for over half a century. Just like this in 3030 with the short tube out into the brush, uh, anything within 100, 125 yards, you can hit a deer with this and she's going to go down and you're going to have some venison in your freezer. Mm, deer season. Mm. Anyway, uh, I was talking to the wife about it off camera before we got on here and she says, yeah, that looks like the rifleman's gun. I said, that's correct. This is a lever action design. Uh, this was uh, designed the lever actions in 1887, I believe, when Winchester designed their, uh, their lever action. So Winchester was first, Marlin came along shortly thereafter. For many, many years, Winchester was the choice in lever action uh, rifles, uh, when you were a cowboy, when your life depended on it, when you were a rancher. But as uh, America's taste progressed and changed over the years, and it became much more of a hunting rifle for deer hunting, somehow Marlin, Marlin got the uh, the go ahead over the Winchester. One main reason for that would be in the design, you can see it here without even getting up close, the ejection port. For the ejection port on the Marlin, it's off to the side, meaning you got a solid top up here that you can drill and tap to put on a scope. And actually I have a, uh, another example <clears throat> that has taken plenty of deer. Let me get up from my lazy little couch here. Plenty of deer. Here's a 336C, and this one has got a 3x9 scope on it with some see-through mounts, an offset hammer spur on it, and the leather, the leather uh, rifle sling. This has taken many, many a deer up here in Michigan, and you can see when you see the close-up B-roll on this thing, you'll see it's got its battle scars. This is not a, uh, a showpiece by any means. This has been worked out in the field and taken, taken many, many deer. But, again, I was talking about the Winchester versus the Marlin. See, I'm digressing. You can still have your ejection port over here, and you can have your scope mounted right up on top, which is why this outsold the Winchester as far as deer hunting. The cartridge with the scope on it like that, you can get out to 150 yards with a shot pretty confidently. And taking it with a scope when you're hunting, so you've got that sure shot, that humane kill, 
it will beat an open sight anytime. Now you can take a Winchester with a top ejection port and do a side mount to a scope ring mount, uh, but this ultimately won out obviously because of its design. Uh, and uh, it has taken, it has been America's deer rifle uh, ever since. So, the Marlin 336C, the Marlin 336SC, the 336 lever action and 3030, taking more deer and game in North America than any other rifle, I'm certain. Uh, and like the wife said, the lever action, they're just cool. They're just cool. We were talking about the, the cock. You've got half cock and full cock again. We were talking about it with their single action. If you haven't seen the uh, the review on the wife's gun, I'll put a link right up here. Her single action gun. So we were talking about that. Anyway, Marlin 336 makes me want to go hunting. I'm ready for hunting season. I can, I can smell the leaves and the, the fall air and the wood burning and the, and the leaves and having to rake the leaves and rake the leaves. Okay, I guess I can wait for hunting season. But uh, the Marlin 336C, thanks for joining us today. Thanks again to the Izzy Institute for, uh, for supplying the weapons for the review today. Uh, we're having a subscriber drive. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscriber button. Uh, the little guy with me holding the Glock, blue and white shirt, click on that little icon down there and you'll be subscribed to the channel or the little red button down there that says subscribe. We appreciate you subscribing. Please share us on social media. Thanks for watching today and we will see you next time on the Black Sheep Channel.